If you want to get your amateur radio license in Canada or you're currently studying to get your amateur radio license in Canada, you'll want to stay tuned to this video. There are some upcoming changes to the questions that are asked on the amateur radio exam and we're going to go over some of those changes right now. So like I said, Industry Canada or ICED is releasing 201 new questions. That includes some questions that have just been modified, uh, whether that be just the wording uh, or answers, you know, just the, the way their, the question is explained. Um, Industry Canada worked closely with the Radio Amateurs of Canada to update and improve the quality of the question bank. So the emphasis was on the goal of correcting factual errors, uh, repla replacing like obsolete language, making questions and answers clearer and better reflect, uh, you know, current technologies and uh, practices within amateur radio. Um, so these questions come into play July 15th of this year, 2025. So if you are studying to take your amateur radio test uh, and you're planning on taking it before July 2025, Carry on with the, the regular questions that are available on Industry Canada website um, or ICED's website. Uh, if you are planning on taking it and you're not sure whether you're going to be taking it in July, uh, maybe t have a look at those new questions. Uh, there is documents on ICED's website that shows which questions have been changed, which ones are being taken out, uh, and that sort of thing. Um, so I'll put the links for those in the description below. So do have a look at those. It goes over all the questions. Like I said, 201, um, you know, new questions added to the bank. So there's quite a bit. So like I said, if you're planning on taking the test after July 15th, 2025, make sure you have a look at those new questions. Uh, consider, you know, taking, uh, uh, you know, those questions and printing them out and having a look, making sure you're familiar with, with the changes because you don't want to get uh, tricked. Uh, come time uh, to do your exam. The new questions are available. There's PDF documents that you can print off. Um, you know, like I it said in previous videos, they're put, they put the entire question bank online. So you can just go through and try to memorize the, the questions, familiarize yourself with how the test is going to be, because those are the exact questions that they pull the test from. So, uh, uh, you know, the answers are all there. And uh, you have, you have, no excuse. You need to get your amateur radio license. And like I said, July 15th is that day. Um, so if you're planning on taking it shortly, you know, carry on as usual, you know, unless you uh, uh, didn't pass the test and are planning on taking the, the follow up after July. Um, but July 15th, 2025, those new questions are coming into play. Also, I said and RAC are reviewing the advanced amateur exam questions. So this, uh, there's no date I believe yet as far as when that will actually happen, um, but expect announcements in 2025 uh, in regards to the advanced amateur questions that are that are being reviewed currently. Um, so, like I said, all these uh, resources. Uh, all the questions, the new updated questions, I've put links in the description below. So have a look down there. All the resources are there. If you're planning on taking your license, uh, the exam, definitely have a look because uh, uh, all the dates are there. So if you're planning on taking it before July 15th, 2025 or after, um, you know, study the, the questions accordingly. Don't study the wrong questions. Um, so if you guys are taking your exam and you're uh, uh, having a look at some of these questions, let me, let me know what you think below. Um, if you have taken the test with the new questions and, uh, this video is now after that change, let me know, uh, let me know how it went. Uh, did you have any of the new questions in your exam? Um, otherwise, uh, leave a comment below and tell me, uh, tell me what your thoughts are on the changes and, uh, whether you think they should be putting the efforts into changing these questions or if there's things that they could, uh, better, better spend their time doing. Um, leave a comment below regardless. And, uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you in the next video.